Well, guys, look. There is an octopus. Octopuses live in oceans all over the world. Some octopuses live near the surface of the water in shells, reefs and crevices. Some species live on the ocean floor. Octopuses tend to be solitary, although they sometimes interact with other octopuses. There is a jellyfish. Jellyfish have luminous organs that emit light or are known as bioluminescent. Bioluminescence is the body's ability to produce light. This light is green and blue. Crystal jellyfish are a type of jellyfish that have bioluminescent abilities. This light is a chemical reaction of proteins produced by the jellyfish's body with seawater. There is a puffer fish. Puffer fish that have white spots apparently have a unique habit of building nests. Male pufferfish make round nests in the sand. Their goal in building a nest is to attract the attention of females. Usually, if female fish are impressed, they will lay their eggs in the nest. This is ammonite. Ammonites are predatory animals, these squid-like creatures live in shell-shaped coils. Like other cephalopods, ammonites are highly alert, with beak-like jaws within a ring of tentacles that extend from their shells to ensnare prey such as small fish and crustaceans. Some ammonites grow to more than 3 feet or about 1 meter in diameter. This is a blue spotted ray. Having a beautiful color that can catch people off guard when they see it, this blue spotted ray apparently has a secret weapon. It has two large and medium-sized spines at the end of its tail. These thorns can cause a number of dangers if they come into contact with humans. As a self-defense mechanism, the sting caused by these thorns can be very excruciating. This is Gulper Eel. Male Gulper Eels generally have larger eyes than females. Scientists believe that males can meet females mainly because males follow the scent of pheromones released by females, but the ability of pelican eels to produce light at the tip of their tail is also used to attract the attention of the opposite sex to reproduce. This is garfish. Alligator and garfish eggs are generally very poisonous. It will be very dangerous if you eat this fish. The poison in gar fish eggs is a self-defense mechanism so that the eggs are not eaten by predators, such as crustaceans. This was thought to be one of the reasons why gar fish have been able to survive until now since hundreds of millions of years ago. This is a Dacopodiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. There is crab! Crabs are unique animals that look like they don't have heads. The only visible body structure is the legs, body and eyes. Indeed, crab heads are not like the heads of other animals. The head of this clawed animal has a very unique structure and is located like it is attached to its back. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look over there! Wow, this is starfish! Even though they don't have a brain, heart, or blood vessels, starfish can still feel pain thanks to their highly developed nervous system. Starfish have gills on the outside of their bodies that allow them to breathe oxygen from the water. So never pick it up or take it out of the water, it may cause it to die. There is lobster. Lobsters also turn out to be cannibals. This means they can eat each other. This makes experts think that lobster cultivation is a less profitable business. They're looking for fresh food and what's around, and if it happens to be another lobster, then that becomes their dinner. This is blue whale. Even though blue whales look very big, their food is small. Blue whales only eat small shrimp such as krill. However, the number of shrimp eaten in a day can reach 40 million. When migrating, blue whales eat very little. 
Most blue whales survive on fat reserves. This is box fish. This boxed fish also contains high protein and low fat. The protein in sea fish is known to be very good for treating digestive problems because it can be absorbed by the intestines more easily. This is because the protein in fish contains fiber which can improve the performance of the small intestine. This is a moray eel. Several types of moray eels have very beautiful body colors. The colors and patterns on the moray eel's body vary greatly depending on the type. Many marine aquarium lovers use this eel as an addition to their aquarium collection. Several tourist attractions have collections of various types of beautiful moray eels. This is a hermit crab. Hermit crabs do not hesitate to change their shells if they feel that their size is not suitable. The hermit crab's body continues to grow. Like it or not, they have to look for a new shell. This shell has a vital role, namely protecting the abdomen, stomach, and keeping their body moist. The perfect shell for a hermit crab is one that keeps it safe from predators. This is a crayfish. Crayfish do not taste food using their mouths. They taste food with their feet. There are fine hairs on the legs with chemosensory or chemical sensor functions to identify food. Antennas are used to find food that is far away. Crayfish also chew with their stomachs, just like crabs and starfish. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look! There is Spotted Eagle Ray! The Spotted Eagle Ray has a flat disc shape, with a blue or black color with white spots on top and a white lower body, and a distinctive deep snout like a duck's beak. The tail is longer than other rays and may have two to six venomous spines. The Pectoral. This is a dugong. Dugongs are social creatures, they can be in flocks of 200 dugongs. Therefore, communication is very important for them. Dugongs use two main communication methods, namely sound and sight. Just like dolphins, dugongs use chirps, whistles, barks and other sounds that resonate underwater. This is squid. In several cities, including Beijing, Chinese street vendors sell sushi made from starfish. Some people like starfish but others don't. Some think that it tastes like river crab or sea urchin but there are also those who claim it tastes like nothing at all. There is a clownfish. Their body color is a bright orange with three white bars, the middle with a forward bulge centrally. Thick black bands around the white bars separate the orange and white portions of the body. The bands range from a thick line to patches of black on the sides of the fish. This is dolphin. If you have thought that whales and dolphins are fish, then that is not correct. Because in fact, whales and dolphins are not fish but marine mammals. Like mammals, whales and dolphins are warm-blooded animals. This is Gurnard fish. Currently there are many hobbyists who choose flying Gurnard fish to fill their aquariums. Food that tends to be easy to care for also makes this fish relatively easy to care for. However, that doesn't mean there are no challenges at all in keeping Gurnard flying fish. With a maximum size of up to 50 centimeters. This is mouth bass. All types of largemouth bass come in unique colors and patterns. Typically, all species of this fish have a similar green color with horizontal spots. Largemouth snapper is famous for its bright green color and horizontal spots on both sides and has a white underbelly. Thank you for watching guys.